Helldivers Thate, King of the Wastes, is the eighth entry in Nicholas Sansbury Smith's post-apocalyptic Helldivers series. The series is set in a world where the surface of Earth has been destroyed by nuclear war and the environment has become nearly uninhabitable due to radiation and deadly storms. Humanity now survives aboard massive airships that circle the globe. The Helldivers are the heroic and daring individuals who descend to the deadly surface to scavenge for parts and supplies to keep the airships and their societies afloat. The King of the Wastes follows the story of Captain Xavier X. Rodriguez and his Helldivers team as they continue to fight for the survival of the human race. With the metal-eating monsters known as the Sirens threatening the airborne existence of humanity, the stakes are higher than ever. In a desperate bid to protect what is left of humanity and combat the increasingly aggressive Sirens, the remaining airships, the Hive, the Deliverance, and the flagship, the Ares, gather to plan a final, all-out attack on the creature's underground lairs. At the onset of the novel, we find that after numerous battles and a constant struggle for survival, life aboard the airships has grown increasingly tense and desperate. Supplies are dwindling, the airships are deteriorating, and hope is in short supply. Amidst this atmosphere of despair, X is preparing his team for their most dangerous dive yet. In the previous book, Hell Divers the Seven, Warriors, a plan was formed to combine the might of the remaining airships and their Hell Divers to launch an attack on the Sirens' territory, known as the Hive. This is a monumental task, as the Sirens' home is protected by a horde of the creatures and is located deep within the Earth, where radiation levels are lethally high. The narrative also focuses on the emotional and personal journeys of the characters. X is haunted by the sacrifices made by his friends and the memories of those he has lost, including his deceased lover, Tin. His leadership is under scrutiny, and he must grapple with the continuous pressure to make decisions that affect the lives of those on board the remaining airships and the future of the survivors. X's relationship with his adopted son, Miles, evolves as he trains him to be a hell diver. There is also a theme of fatherhood and legacy, as the hell divers are not only battling for their own survival, but for the future generation that they hope can one day live safely on the Earth's surface. Miles, now a young man, is wrestling with his role in legacy, eager to prove himself to his father and peers. Miles's coming-of-age storyline is a central theme as he embodies the hope and courage of the younger generation who will inherit the consequences of the current struggle. Miles's bravery is tested as he must come to terms with the dangers of diving and his desire to honor the Hell Diver legacy. Meanwhile, the political backdrop involves conflicts within the leadership of the airships. The captains and counselors are divided in their strategies on how to deal with the sirens with some advocating for continued scavenging and others pushing for a more aggressive approach. The protagonist X often finds himself at odds with the leadership, pushing for a more proactive and aggressive stance against the sirens. As the novel progresses, tensions rise when two ancient pre-war AI systems, Halo and Omni, which were rediscovered in earlier books, are brought into the equation. These AIs promise the potential to assist the remaining humans but also pose new threats due to their unknown capabilities and objectives. The Helldivers embark on their mission to the Hive, encountering new threats and discovering that the Sirens have been evolving and adapting. Some of the creatures have begun to exhibit signs of intelligence, employing tactics and setting traps. The mission is fraught with peril, as each dive carries the risk of encountering Sirens, storms and radioactive death zones. As the story reaches its climax, the brutal reality of the post-apocalyptic world, the human cost of survival, and the psychological toll it takes on the survivors come to the forefront. X and his team must confront the possibility that they may not all make it back alive, and the weight of the decisions they make could determine the fate of humanity. In the grand finale, the combined forces of the Helldivers and the airships, military personnel confront the terrifying reality of the Siren's domain. It's a harrowing battle against overwhelming odds, with the Helldivers fighting not just for the victory in this battle, but for the hope of a future where humans might reclaim the surface. Through teamwork, sheer determination, and great sacrifice, the Helldivers strive to accomplish what seems like an impossible mission. 
the novel's resolution brings a mix of triumph and tragedy. While not all characters survive the confrontation, the Helldivers achieve a significant victory against the Sirens, offering a glimmer of hope that the war for Earth's surface might one day be won. The survivors are left to mourn their losses, but they also celebrate the courage and sacrifice that has given humanity a fighting chance. Ultimately, Helldivers VIII, King of the Wastes, delivers an action-packed narrative that combines intense combat scenes with deep emotional resonance as characters fight not only for survival, but for the meaning and legacy of humanity in a shattered world. The story of X, Miles, and the rest of the Helldivers is one of courage and sacrifice in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, a tale of the indomitable human spirit striving to reclaim a lost world. The book sets the stage for continued struggle and hope, leaving the door open for the next chapter in the Helldivers saga. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.